Good afternoon, mga kapuso, and welcome, welcome, welcome to your favorite in-between sports and entertainment show. This is Game On. My name is Martin Alvier. Pardon me for the energy and intensity kasi po mainit yung bakbaka natin kani-kanina lang between Arellano and Mapua. But also joining me here, as per usual, it's a Sunday. They're here fresh from the Queen City of the South. Okay, introduce natin Mr. Pure Business and Pleasure, Anton Rojas, and Coach Hammer, medyo, Martin Antonio. Med medyo pagod yung kaibigan natin. <laughs> hindi ako pagod. Ba't parang ano? Hindi ako you, pagod. You're disgusted. Bad trip ako. Pa bad ba dahil trip? hindi ako nakakain ng let's show. Ah, okay, yun yung dahilan. Ako di ba ako natutulog? Ikaw natulog ka na. Nak nakatulog na ako, pero hindi ako nakakain ng let's show. <laughs> you know, why, why, why did we go to Cebu and not eat let's show? Well, well, I yeah, blame you. Okay, sige. I, I'll take, I'll take uh, full credit on that na hindi siya nakakain. That was a... <laughs> Like, malalim, no? convincing malalim, stare malalim, from Anton to Kachama. Malalim. Okay, but before we begin, um, we will read out an official statement. I hold here an official statement of the NCAA Season 98 Management Committee with regards to the issue involving Gab Gamboa, former player of the Mapua Cardinals. All right, so I'll read it out. This pertains to so NC National Collegiate Athletic Association official statement. This pertains to social media reports that the National Collegiate Athletic Association, or the NCAA, has banned Mapua University basketball player Mr. Gabriel Dan Gamboa from playing in NCAA. Relative thereto, the NCAA Management Committee, or MANCOM, hereby clarifies that no decision has been made as to the penalty to be imposed on him. So, malino po yan. Wala pang malino na penalty on uh, Gab Gamboa. Now, to reiterate, the NCAA decision was that Mr. Gamboa was ineligible to play because he was also enrolled in another school when he played. Thus, consistent with the NCAA rules, Mapua University forfeited its game in favor of the San Bede University last September 10, 2022, which is, of course, our opening day of the competition. Further, with regard to the effect on eligibility, we maintain that the NCAA basketball commissioner merely interpreted the, mat or the matter in accordance with the NCAA rulebook. Finally, the NCAA has yet to decide on the sanction against Mr. Gamboa, and this statement was signed by Sir Efren Jose Supan, Sir Paul Supan, the vice chairman of the NCAA Season 98 Basketball Tournament, and of course, Sir Estefano Boying Boqueron Jr., the chairman of NCAA Season 98 Management Committee. Boys, this is the official statement, because again, I repeat, there are reports online, on Twitter, on Facebook, that we have a penalty on Gab Gamboa. But it's malino dito. Wala pang official na sanction dun sa bata. That's official, official. Yan po yung galing sa opisina ng NCAA, the Management Committee. Sinasabi lang na ineligible si Gab Gamboa dahil naka-enroll siya sa dalawang eskwela nung naglaro siya against San Beda. Ganun, ganun lang kasimple. Sinabi lang na by the bylaws, by the rulebook of the commissioner and the league, forfeited yung game. Okay. Yun and lang yung th ano. This is also a reminder sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Nowadays kasi... Ang daming lumalabas na rumors, mga mensahe sa social media na minsan hindi mo naman alam kung saan nanggaling yung oh, source. Hindi pa verified. Hindi pa verified. Mm -hmm. So this is a reminder for us na bago tayo maniwala sa mga nababasa natin online, maghintay muna tayo yan. ng official statement mula sa organisasyon. Oh, dahil okay. kasi yung mga tambay, nakatambay lang sa labas. Ngayon nakatambay na sa social media. So paniwalaan nyo yung mga nakasulat sa, pero ako Martin, Black and white statements ng ating liga. And, and we're hoping for the best, especially for Gab Gamboa. He's a very impressive player. And we're hoping that this would be um, cleared out. Dahil if, if he deserves to be in the NCAA, he will be in the NCAA. Okay. Let's move on to more exciting news, go. more interesting discussion. Let's go to our awesome place. Narito na ang top 10 plays sa week 3 ng NCAA Season 98 Men's Basketball. Simulan natin sa number 10. Let's start with something light, as in magaan. Renz Nokom looking feathery as he makes his move to the basket. One of the high flyers ng ating liga, Renz Nokom with a scoop shot. Dito naman sa number 9. Watch your ankles. Ito na si Jello Razon zigzagging his way to the hoop. Razon, oh. breaking ankles. Chelo Razon, 
Sa number 8, it's the mean, green, well-oiled benilled machine. JC Collier finds Will Gozum for the finish. Game JC Collier! Two-hander from Will Gozum right there. At number 7, Renz Nocom is back with another aerial display of athleticism. Hey Garcia to Renz Nocom Puntos. Sa para sa Mapua. Here at number 6, trying to block this. A buzzer beating three pointer from UPHSD's Kim Aurin. Okay, Aurin! Aurin oh. just in time! Coming in at number five, it's the Demolition Man, Wesley Snipe. Oh, oh! Si Inok Valdez lang palapo. Sorry, pero astig parin. Astig parin. Look at this pass, Inok Valdez. Tuloy natin sa number 4. Kala nyo ba, yung mga may cuts lang ang kayang bumitin sa ere? Aba, tingnan nyo naman. Itong malupit na galawan ni Big Boy, Sean O'Malley. Saka kay Sean O'Malley yan. Uupo sa ere, yes. Hand time. Sinaw-saw pa. Para naman sa number 3, isang di inasahang 3-point game winner mula sa perpetual forward na si John Abis. Titira. Abis! Wow! With two seconds left on the shot clock. For our number two play, it's Fran Yu. Coming up big when it matters the most. Mr. Fantastic skillfully maneuvers his way to the basket against the mighty Benil Blazers. Yu, all slithers. Side steps, avoiding two defenders on his way to the cup. And for our number one play, Guess who? It's Fran Yu to the rescue. Fran Yu for three. Fran Yu! My goodness! Fantastic! Ayos ba mga kapuso? Siguradong marami pa tayong makikitang awesome plays sa pagpapatuloy ng NCAA Season 98. Mr. Fantastic topping our awesome plays of the week with a couple of gutsy shots to secure the win for the defending champions, the Letra Knights. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos dito. Susunod po right after the quick break na pupuntahan natin maya-maya. Eh, meron naman kami. It's our discussion. So this is gonna be prove me right or wrong challenge. Kasama po, Mr. Pure Business and Treasure, Anton Rojas, and Coach Hammer, Martin Antonio. That will happen in just a little bit. So, pagbabalik na! Game on! Welcome back. You guys are still watching Game On, and my name is Martin Javier. Still joined by, Pure, by Mr. Pure Business and Pleasure, Anton Rojas, and Coach Hammer, Martin Antonio. So, as promised, we shall go to another challenge because we like challenges. <laughs> right? Right, gentlemen? We like challenges here on the show, and we like to spice things up. Ito po, ang ating Prove Me Right or Wrong challenge. So, in this box, this is how it will work in this box we have different statements slash hot takes on what's happening right now mm -hmm. in the NCAA season 98 men's basketball tournament pag bunot po namin bibigay namin yan yung number tapos babasahin namin ano ba yung statement na to and then we'll we decide we prove me right yes. or prove me wrong mm -hmm. oh. again this is all about the teams the players that we have here in the league so players players and teams players and teams, teams. alright Oh, sige. Ready? Ready. First pick. Go! Jump. Okay, bunot ako. <laughs> ah. Ayan. So, statement is, Miguel Oxon will live up to the hype. Prove me right or prove me wrong. Martin, you are 100% correct about that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's your statement, ha? Yung mm -hmm. mga binubunit natin uh -huh. dito. Mm -hmm. Miguel Oxon, I called it before the start of the yep, season. Through, through that. This guy is a bona fide stud. Bucket getter, missed two games, came back like he never left. Look at him. He looks like the last samurai with that carbon fiber mask. You, you were calling him 
a Joseph Yo type of player, but I think he's just Migs Oxon. I think he's just a guy. He's more of like Terence Romeo, na hindi fancy, in ah, my opinion, mm. na, because he can shoot the lights out. He's very shifty. He can get to the basket, and I think he was the missing piece last year true, for true, the true, Benil I Blazers. I think they will make the final four no, with this guy playing the way he has been playing so far. Mm -hmm. Rookie of the year, no doubt. Oh, rookie of the Coach year. Mix also an offensively nakita natin. He was a player of the game yesterday in their win, but the biggest part that he plays defensively. He provides size on that backcourt. A very big deal for Coach Charles Chu and their system. Yung talent niya, fit na fit. He could shoot from the outside. He can score off the catch. Hindi niya kailangan yung bola to create offensive production. Hindi niya kailangan yung sariling sikap. Talagang tinutulungan siya ng kanyang opensa. And he can also take charge when it is needed. That's right. Ako, he's already proven us right. You know, this statement, he's already lived up to the hype. I mean, I mean even missing two games, pagpalik niya, 14 points right away. And then it's good to see this guy excel. He, he right. deserves the playing time because he worked his tail off the whole offseason and during his residential year. And he is one of the reasons why the Blazers are sitting on the top of our team standings right now. Anton, second right, statement. let's go to the next one. Number nine, my favorite it's number. Your favorite my favorite number. number. Rigged yata, inayos mo ata. <laughs> okay, ito ah. I see, I see. Prove me right or wrong. Oh. I like this one. The Perpetual Altas will peak in the second round. Oh, but, 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 before, before we answer, maganda matype yung answer. Just answer the question. Baka, baka ipa just, I, I think they would. I think, I think they would. <laughs> the, I think they would. I think they would. He is in your grill. I think they would. Um, uh, they uh, They've been playing well. They just need to find ways to close out the game. End game sila nagkakatalo, which is an, an issue with a lot of teams this season. In the end game, wala pa silang clear pecking order who gets the ball on certain spots, on certain points, and who will take the win for their squad. Ako, initially, I thought they would start the season at their peak, mm -hmm. given their performance last year, because in the Final Four, I feel like that's when they were at their best. You know, Letran, or playing Letran, and only losing by two going into season 98. But I feel like, pwede. you know, they're, they're starting to find their groove and they're starting to find ways. Yesterday, they won a game, even without Kim Aurin. So I think they're starting to find their groove. And I think yun nga, it, it's closing out games. That's been a major problem for the Perpetual Alta so far in the season. Once they address that, they're good. Basta ako, masasabi ko lang, the reason kung bakit nagising itong Perpetual is because lina linagay yung mga mukha natin dun sa gym uh, na wala sila whatever, sa top whatever four, motivates them uh, whatever sa motivates them predictions and uh, you know i i think um no so, so, kidding, kidding aside they are a good team wait lang. they have the personnel hindi, oh. hindi na siya bulletin yes. board Dapat material pala, mas energetic yung yeah, yeah, statements yung, uh, natin no perpetual will peak <laughs> and they can compete what I'm saying, energy today ah oh. hype siya how it ayun and din yung mukha natin sa gym nila eh oh sige so go chamer third statement sana maganda yung mabunot ko dito Okay, number 11. Oh, this is number a very 11. good Okay. The LPU Pirates will make it to the final four. <laughs> oh, I think we might disagree here. Let's see. Lalim ng iisip ninyo. So, we have I don't right know. now on, on the team standings, top five teams, we have um, St. Benilde, we have LPU, we have San Beda. Siya pa ba nasa top top half natin. But the, those three, hindi sila yung uh, yeah. nakakaalago and then dikit-dikit na yung iba. Letran, also part of that top five That's squads. Right. Ako, Coach Hammer, sige, I'll, I'll, I'll go first and then you guys can, you know, present your opposite opinions. But for me, at this rate, we, got, we gotta acknowledge what they're doing right now. True. Four and one and they've defeated some of the strongest teams in the league. Later on, it will be a test against the defending champions. But at least we have to acknowledge what they're doing right now. If it's a, a sustainable throughout the 18-game course of the season, that remains to be seen. But right now, at this point, they're on pace in getting back to the Final Four. If they win today, ah. I think this is the biggest test for the LPU Pirates. Kung mananalo ang LPU kontra sa Letran mamaya, Eto, I will go out on a limb. They will make the final four. Okay? Kung mananalo sila mamaya. Right now, I, I, I can't believe I'm gonna borrow this guy's words. Remains to be seen. Remains to be seen. Remains Remains to be seen. seen. <laughs> but, pero, pero eto ah. Enoch Valdez is not 100% yet. Yep. 
hindi pa siya yun, 100% yun, 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 pero grabe na yung kanyang pinapakita. Oh, yeah. Kahit yun yung qualifier lang right. yung kanyang mga minuto, grabe yung impact na naibibigay niya sa LPU. Mm-hmm. Sean O'Malley is playing well. Renzo Navarro closes the show. He has the basketball in the fourth quarter. Tapos yung mga rookies, sila Montano, gum- how sustainable is it? How sustainable? Kasi they were hitting big shot after big shot. Knockout shots. Haymakers yung binibitawan nila. Pagpukbukan. Against San Beda. Against San Beda. For the rookies. Who? Mac Guadagna had two three-pointers. Montano. Um, uh, the other rookies, si Renz. Renz Villegas. Giginamit sa game against San Beda provided energy. Ang tanong is, is it sustainable? Ang, 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 ang sagot ko kasi, if, if, and only if Enoch Valdez becomes a superstar that we mm. expect him to be, they will make the final Okay. Four. So, so far, yung three statements natin, Miguel Oxon will live up to the hype. Prove me right. The Perpetual Altas will peak in the second round. Prove me right then. We agree mm. with this statement. Remains to be seen. Pati yan. Ikaw remains, Ako, to, remains be to be seen. Ako, prove Remain. me right. Ako, kasi mahaba yung season eh. Marami pang ah. storylines sa mangyari. O, sige. O, bubunot ulit ako. Punutin mo lang ng punutin. Ah. Early Kobe. Number eight. Ayan. Oh. Ang statement. Uy! Nako! Kailangan ko mag-agree dito. The EAC Generals will make it to the final four. I pick them. Uh, May resibo yan. Merong resibo <laughs> yan. Ikaw lang sa final petwal eh. Final four, lima yung team na nakuha. Uh, ako? I trust my <laughs> judgment. Because it's a long season. Five games. They played an impressive game um, yesterday against the uh, Benil Blazers. So, feeling ko with with the right ba, combination and the right attitude on the court, maybe. Ang ka namamasa yung mga guard nila. Uh, Diet yung mga big man eh. Diet. Hindi, pag 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 the ball stops on the guards. Uh-huh. If they rotate that basketball, mas gagaan yung buhay nila eh. So they have one of the best big guys, Alan Liwag. So, you, Coach Hammer, prove me wrong. Wrong. They won't. No, no. Oh. And, uh, yun lang yung quantifier. If they move the basketball, if the guards let go of that ball and let it return to them on the flow of the offense, they would make it. Pero ito yung problema. Mm-hmm. They are not letting go of the ball. Tumitira sila, hindi pumapasok yung bola. Oh, simply. That is the oh, problem. Exactly. Ralph Robin, King Gurtiza. Gurtiza has not been himself. I was watching how he got injured last season. He fell awkwardly at the at the LSGH oh, gym. Ah, gym. gym. He was not the same player anymore. Hindi pa bumabalik yung kanyang dating laro. So, para sa akin, wrong talaga. I, do, I don't think EAC is gonna make it to the Final Four, especially with the way they've been playing this season. Mm. I mean... It's hard for me to say that dahil host school ang EAC ngayon and we're so thankful for everything they're doing with a great NCAA season so far. Pero sa pinapakita ng EAC, I'm not sure. They're, eh, I, don't, naman, I don't think they're oh, going to make it. Hindi naman kasi porket host school ka, automatic bid ka na sa final four. You gotta work for it. And right now, medyo malakit yung bola sa opensa ng EAC. So, prove me wrong, prove me wrong, prove me right kung makakarating sa final four ang EAC Generals. Anton? Alright. Bunot! Okay, go. Four. Number okay. four. Okay, this this huh. this is nice. Oh. Prove me right or wrong. Romel Kalahat will be season 98 MVP. Prove me wrong. Na suspend ne. First game na siya from season 97. Oh, then, 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 then. But but on the sheer numbers. Sheer numbers. You, sheer got, numbers. Off, you, got, you got off the hook there. Okay, sheer numbers. Oh, sheer numbers. Prove it wrong. I pick my boy, JK, James Kwekote, who had a superstar turn wow. against where, where the Letran Knights. Oh, no. Where did this come so from? Oh. Wait, wait a minute. No, Sana I didn't pick. No. I have never heard I the know. name James Kwekote come out of exactly. your mouth in exactly. all of our discussions here on oh, do, 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 do not, do not go, to. Do not go cartoon character on me. <laughs> I'm going, <laughs> I'm going <laughs> analyst. <laughs> you picked J, James Kwekote in our fantasy draft last year. But, yes, but that but, was last season. Yes, exactly. But but I I don't talking about you. We're not talking of course. about me. Where San did James Beda. come San, from? San Beda. I'm, I'm an alumni, okay? I, I would love James to have a good year. But that's why I'm saying it remains to be seen. Remember, you asked me. Babalikan natin yung primer. If San Beda will make the final four, it remains to be seen how they adjust. And, where's my camera? They adjusted really well, especially Mr. James Kwekote on a different role. He's knocking down outside shots and... He is playing splendid pro-level defense. Okay. 
So, sige. That's it. Mm. Production-wise, JK double-double and went the Robert Bollick route in the end game. Yun yung, okay. yun yung pick-off for the MVP. Got it, got it. Yung topic si Kalahat eh. Hindi, okay, kaya prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Yun yung, yun yung sagot okay. ko kasi kung who, who would be the MVP. Ah, okay. Delikado yung sinabi mo. Palikan natin yung primer. Baka mayari ka ulit ni Anton dun eh. Sige, okay, Romel Kalahat. Okay, okay lang. I think, okay, the basis of this statement as we hear the LPU Pirates uh, at their dugout, I think the basis of their statement was the first two games of Kalahat in Season 98. 21 points. First three games pala. 13 rebounds, 13 50% rebounds, from three. A 17 and 17. He was averaging 19 points and double figures in rebounding. But right now, in the past two games, you know, he's had a tough time against the opponents. Na, na oh, na scout na. So, if he wants to win the MVP, he needs to pick up his scoring, rebounding, and he, he needs to, because he's going to be a marked man now. He's the main guy. Yeah, he's the, the main guy. Uh -oh. So, he needs to adjust to that, and once he does, you know, the potential is there. Mm -hmm. You know what? The line for today is remains to be seen. And yep. it remains to be seen what the next floppy statement of this oh, guy beside why, me. Why do you keep on calling it? No, 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 no. I, I need to ask you. Why do you keep on calling floppy statements if I base oh, no. it on numbers? No, no, honestly. You based it on the last No, we, we base it on numbers. Watch, well. watch the games. We watch the games. I just don't know where oh, we it watch came the games. from. This guy. I love it. So he calls me floppy statements. This guy acts like a cartoon character. I love it. It's a Sunday, but we ain't taking a rest day. These oh, two are back at it against each other. Next game will be good though. The LPU Pirates 4 and 1 and the Letra Knights at 3 and 2 separated by just a game. So, abang po natin may igni result niyan. This guy will the be working. We'll be covering that. As of course, Mr. Pure Business and Pleasure Anton Rojas. Si mo kasama diyan. Ayan. Ito 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 may production. Ito may production. LB production talaga may production. Cover boy, tubong NCAA, NCAA champion, former King Lion. JV Mokon. It's gonna be a good game. Oh, LPU good game. versus Letran. Definitely oh. a good game. If I'm a cartoon character, by the way, I better be Wolverine from the X Men <laughs> yes. animated oh. series. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll give you that. Because I'm carrying you up oh, on this okay, table okay. That, every single that's what episode. He, that's what he said. You already know. You already know. All right. Thank you so much for joining us here on the show, Go Chammer. And thank you so much for joining us here on a Sunday for our usual discussion on NCAA Season 98. But this has been your favorite in between and sports and entertainment show. Ito po ang Game On! Game on!